So after two years I finally got around to editing the third and last part of my series on building my compact table saw. In the first two episodes we built the mechanism for raising and lowering and tilting the blade and in this one we're gonna make the tabletop and the fence system. The tabletop started out as a piece of phenolic resin coated plywood and I used a couple of fences to route the throat opening. Using a larger bit I first milled the recess for the throat insert and then I used a smaller bit to cut the opening all the way through. On the underside of the table I had to create another recess for the motor unit. And because it's much faster than the router, I just used my circular saw. By the way, if you feel the need of informing me that stuff is terribly dangerous, feel free to use the comment section underneath the video. It's free. It's a bit of a squeaky crank, but there's just no one there to care. Before permanently installing the tabletop, I routed the slot that my fence system is gonna grip onto. The fence of this table saw is basically gonna be an exact copy of the fence that I built for a much simpler homemade table saw a couple of years ago and there's gonna be a link to that video in the description. This piece of steel will hook into the groove that I just cut in the underside of the table. Now this should probably be cross pinned into place, but not really. And I painted the saw a lovely green. It just looks so much nicer that way. And before I install the tabletop, let's have a look at the mechanism for one last time.
the ratio between my cranking speed and the speed that the saw tilts at is dependent on the thread pitch and the length of the lever that the thread is moving. So if you just type the comment about how I should really have used an Acme spindle because with that threaded rod I'm obviously gonna crank away like a monkey, you're disqualified. And it will also never wear out. Just in case. And finally, the zero clearance insert. And I almost forgot to cut the miter slot. Miter slots are pretty important. So here it is. And all that's left is to test it. So, do I still use it? Yes, occasionally. It is, I think, my favorite machine that I ever built. To this point, of course. And uh, quite frankly, it works really well. It could use a little bit of tweaking with the dust collection. But um, to be honest, that also works really well. So there is really no point in messing with it right now. But um, yeah, I think I just need to move on. <laughs>